gentlemen, thank you for joining me. This is Nick Baumhart at Pelican Marsh Golf Club, the Director of Instruction. Uh, today we're going to just be talking about a very simple thought that I feel helps a lot of people generate a more productive backswing rotation to uh, deliver more power into that golf ball more consistently. So what we're going to talk about is the lead leg or lead knee movement in the backswing and how that will benefit uh, most pieces in our golf swing. So I see a lot of folks struggling with their swings. When they go back, they tend to slide and shift to the back foot. And what I tell people is that one, that's kind of very powerless. Um, and two, we're gonna be very inconsistent in our delivery to that golf ball because we had a hope that we get back to the golf ball in a, the right amount of time. So what I say is we want more of a center turn um, which will generate more power directly into the back of that golf ball. So all we need, I'm going to say, is a 7-iron or an 8-iron and an alignment stick that we have on the range. And what we're going to do is focus on how our lead knee moves. So first, before I do the setup here with this alignment stick, is that you want your lead knee to feel as though or focus that it moves forward and just subtly, not so much inward, but not really much inward so it's more of a forward bend in motion so it's bending um, as your trail knee is straightening as we've probably talked in previous videos but most importantly is watching this lead knee bend more forward um, and that's going to help us create a more stable and I would call it more of a centered lower body turn. I see a lot of folks that shift this lower body back changing how they move their body their reverse pivot and all this stuff because the lead knee starts moving too much inward, which then makes the hips tilt and gets too much lead hip rotation and all the stuff gets out of sorts, okay? So all we're focusing on is lead knee moving more forward um, throughout this stroke. So what we're gonna do is take the alignment stick, put it in the ground on an angle, and what I would say is the tip of the stick, you want it to be pretty close to your knee height, okay? So I'm gonna try to lower this a little bit. Just a tad more. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, as you can see when we set up, is I have the stick maybe about an inch away from the inside of my lead knee. So for the right-handed golfer, our left knee, okay? Now, we don't want the tip way out. You want it to be level with your knee and not sticking out because it then will interrupt our swing and we might hit it. So we won't want we don't want that to happen, okay? So just a little bit, if anything, a little bit out uh, above or outside our knee, okay? So from here, what we're gonna first practice is making back swings, turning, and feeling that lead knee move forward and not touch this stick. We don't want to be pushing into this stick this way. We want to feel that knee move more forward. It can have a little bit inward. It's okay just to barely touch that stick, but we don't want to be pushing that stick, okay? Just maybe just barely touching it, if anything, okay? So it's a really good drill to control that movement. Now, we don't want a ton of knee movement because then I'll start moving towards that target, but you want just to have that right knee, or just that lead knee, I should say, bending um, gradually in that backswing motion to give us a centered turn to produce more consistency. Okay, so now that I have my drill in place, I'm gonna try to get a full on a tee because I wanna work on this now. I got my setup where I want it. So what I'm gonna do is rehearse the feeling of what I want in my backswing, and then I'm gonna produce. Wow, I hit that really good. So I hope this helps you. Thanks for visiting, have an awesome day.